The Tesla Cybertruck is the most talked about, most anticipated, most hyped car so far this decade. It looks absolutely insane, but it turns out it's actually a disaster. This truck has so many problems that it's shocking. In today's video, we're going to be highlighting all these problems. Let's get into it. The Cybertruck is packed with brand new ideas. Elon Musk introduced some really cool stuff, like the windshield wipers. Tesla had patents for two amazing types, one with magnets that move sideways and another with lasers. But when it was time to sell, they went with a regular one, just bigger. But that's not all. Elon Musk pulls off another innovation. The exoskeleton body is a big deal. It means the truck is all one piece, with the side panels and such being part of the car's main structure. Instead of just hanging panels on a frame, it's all integrated. This makes it tougher and way lighter, which is very important for big electric pickups. The Cybertruck was supposed to have this exoskeleton, but they changed their minds and went back to a regular frame instead. Things get even more interesting. Throttle House, a YouTube channel about cars, reviewed the Cybertruck after driving it for 500 miles. Their video is worrying, to say the least, because of what they found out about the Cybertruck. The headlights point up, which blinds other drivers instead of lighting up the road. The rear camera doesn't work at night. Closing the door makes the whole car shake. The driver's view is risky. Inside it feels cheap and makes noises. The ride is bumpy. There are no gauges on the dashboard or buttons on the wheel. So you have to keep looking at the touchscreen. The problems are just crazy. Hold on, it gets better. The car also has a vegetable peeler feature. And guess what? You can get it for a sky-high price of $40,000 in Tesla bucks, which equals about $61,000 in regular US dollars for the basic model. Is that not crazy? And there is a 52.5% price hike, making it $21,000 more. We really hope Elon Musk knows what he's doing. Now get this, the Cybertruck is also gigantic. You know those unnecessarily massive pickup trucks? The ones only flashy but rich people drive in Europe? Yeah, those ones. Like the Ford F-150. They even have names like Super Crew 5.5 Raptor, targeting divorced, middle-aged men who think they're modern-day Clint Eastwoods or something. Tesla begins its Cybertruck tour in China, and it's been getting a lot of social media buzz there ahead of this trip. Our Eunice Yoon. Spoiler alert, they're not. Just look at how outrageously huge the F-150 is. It's practically screaming for attention, maybe even from their daughter's 17-year-old best friend. Well, guess what? The Cybertruck is even bigger. It's eight centimeters wider at 2.2 meters, which is like half a meter wider than a regular car. Now here is the kicker. For such a huge size, you'd expect loads of storage space, right? Wrong! You can't even squeeze in a regular sized bicycle, not on this pickup truck. It's got about the same bed size as a Subaru Sambar. That's like comparing a micro truck to this three ton monstrosity. But that's not all. In terms of range, the Cybertruck is pretty disappointing. The people at Throttle House drove it down from 610 meters to sea level and managed to get 462 kilometers out of it on a full charge. That's a pretty sweet trip for squeezing out range from your car. But here's the kicker. Their 462 kilometers is still 53 kilometers less than the advertised 515 kilometers range and a whole 342 kilometers less than what Musk originally promised. He said it would go 884 kilometers or 500 miles. That's the promised range for the type these people tried, which is the biggest, meanest version of the Cybertruck with the longest range called the Cyberbeast, probably named like this because Elon Musk himself is a divorced dad. Also, have you ever thought about why they don't just make cars with untreated stainless steel exteriors? Ever pondered why they layer up our metal panels with protective coatings? Is it all just for kicks, or is there something beyond the shiny showroom that calls for such layers? So, Mr. Musk, Mr. Billionaire Genius Vibranium Neuralink Tesla Mars Jewish Rocket Man has now made the Cybertruck from Tesla's own stainless steel alloy. And how do you now prevent it from rusting, you ask? Well, according to the official manual, you have to immediately get rid of bird droppings, tree sap, grease, oil, tar, road salt, and dead bugs, or else they'll leave stains. Oh, and no hot water for washing, cause that could stain too. Be careful with certain car shampoos, cause they might stain as well. And whatever you do, don't wash your car in direct sunlight. Cause you guessed it, that could stain your car too. So guess what happened after this? As expected, many Cybertruck owners started noticing rusty stains on their vehicles almost right away. 
Some saw it happen after just 11 days. But hey, there's good news. Tesla can add a protective layer to your Cybertruck. It'll cost you an extra $5,000 though. If this video has convinced you to buy a Cybertruck, well, first, I'm sure your guardian will have something to say about it. Second, be prepared for a long wait. Tesla says there are 2 million people on the waiting list, and they're only making about 150,000 Cybertrucks per year. In theory, at least. Now, to be fair, Musk says they'll eventually ramp up to making 250,000 per year. If they could do that magically tomorrow, you'd only have to wait eight years if you put down your money today. It is a big moment, Scott. And, and look, Elon Musk, they love these delivery events. It's a chance for him to say, you know what, what we do, nobody else in the auto industry does. They have a number of their employees as well as customers who are there. He's got a fan base that is there. For them, this is their rock show. Now, here is the thing. Apart from the questionable engineering, the problematic tech solutions, and the rather silly appearance, the Cybertruck faces a more significant question. Who is it really meant for? Who's the target audience? The Peugeot 308 appeals to regular folks who just need to get around. The Cadillac Escalade seems aimed at people afraid of certain demographics. The Dodge Ram and Ford F-150 cater to divorced dads with peculiar fantasies. But the Cybertruck? Let's think about it. It's a $61,000 to $100,000 pickup truck advertised with windows supposedly resistant to nuclear explosions and steel panels that can repel arrows and bullets, all packaged in an odd, awkward sci-fi style. So your target buyer is someone who is affluent, a sci-fi nerd, and a doomsday prepper. So here's the big question. How many wealthy sci-fi enthusiasts slash doomsday preppers have you encountered? We're sure there are a few out there, but do they really justify taking four years of development time away from Tesla and tying up production lines to make Cybertrucks instead of more conventional models? Tesla's newest model, the Model Y, has been around for half a decade now. Why not concentrate on that and the other models that people actually want, instead of spending resources on a vehicle that looks like it belongs in a PlayStation 1 game and caters to tech-obsessed individuals with too much money to spare? Now here is the thing. The whole Cybertruck affair screams Elon Musk pet project. He probably just drew it up on toilet paper and gave it to the engineers. And so, the engineers got to work, tasked with navigating the constraints of Musk's peculiar idea. They were stuck, unable to make fundamental changes to the car. If this was indeed the case, it would explain all the odd solutions both inside and out. The driver's view being borderline unsafe? No way to fix it. The boss insists on this exact car shape. Gauges behind the steering wheel for easy and safe access to information? Forget it, the boss wants just one big screen on the dashboard. Sure, putting untreated stainless steel panels on a vehicle is incredibly impractical, and getting them to fit together properly is nearly impossible. Plus, you apparently have to constantly wipe your entire car with window cleaner to avoid staining. But hey, Elon Musk said stainless steel panels, so that's how it has to be. But here's the thing, the Cybertruck's steel panels aren't even bulletproof. We found this out when Aiden Ross tried shooting at one. Aiden Ross happens to own a Cybertruck, as if the car needed any more negative publicity. If you're lucky enough not to know who Aiden Ross is, Count you better keep it that way. So he decided to test it out and shot at his Cybertruck. And guess what? It's not actually bulletproof. The steel just breaks upon impact, collapsing inward. It's very rare that a product comes along that is uh, seemingly impossible, uh, that, that people said was impossible, that experts said was impossible. And this is one of those times. We have a, we have a, a car here that experts said was impossible, that experts said would never be made. So, all right, the Cybertruck might not be the best vehicle in terms of well, all of its features, but hey, it does have a pretty cool camping setup, doesn't it? The Cybertruck Base Camp. Well, you're wrong. The Base Camp actually looks like Cybertruck now has a butthole, and it will take a price of $3,000. But hold on a second, do you realize what kind of tent you can get for $3,000? It's practically a pop-up house. So why not go for that instead and just carry it on the bed of your own pickup truck? But wait, there is more. There is an overarching ideology behind the Cybertruck. It's basically an ultra-expensive doomsday vehicle, complete with sharp hazardous angles, massive weight, and lights that blind everyone else on the road who isn't driving a literal tank. Just as Musk himself said, 
If you are in an argument with another car, you will win. So, at the core of the Cybertruck's concept, inspired by the cyberpunk genre, is its portrayal of a dystopian high-tech future where the wealthy are above the law, corporations wield more power than governments, and anyone outside the ruling class is left to fend for themselves. Do you know what Cybertruck does? It aligns well with this dystopian mindset. Its main purpose is clear, to dominate and push around everyone else on the road. It's meant for those who can afford $100,000 armored beasts to feel safe, leaving regular folks vulnerable. This is the future Elon Musk envisions, the path we're on unless we find another way. It's a disaster, really. There are hardly any positives about the Cybertruck. Even the Throttle House guys seem to struggle to find reasons to like it, trying to pack more positives into their video. In their final thoughts, the only good things they could say about the Cybertruck is that it drives well. People look at it, it's fun to kick. And it's cool that Tesla dared to make something this silly. What a perfect description of this stainless steel mess. At this point, the most entertaining thing about the Cybertruck is watching Tesla fans struggle with the idea that the truck they paid $100,000 for isn't well designed, looks ridiculous, and is low quality. All from a man who's currently spreading a conspiracy theory on his failing social media platform. So what do you think? Are there any redeeming features of the Cybertruck? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. Also hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.